When studying ecology, one of the very important topics is, is trying to figure out where is energy going in a particular ecosystem. And one of the simplest ways to diagram this out is called a food chain. So it's a simple diagram that shows the path of energy, i.e. who's eating who. Now when you study a food chain, there's some terminology that we need to introduce. But one of the concepts that you need to hold in your mind, because this is one of the implications of a food chain, is this, something that, this thing that's sometimes called the rule of 10. And the idea of the rule of 10 is that roughly 10%, hardly if ever above 20%, roughly only 10% of the energy goes from one level to the next. So when you have producers, the things that make the food, they're only going to pass on maybe 10% of the energy they're taking in, typically from the sun, to the primary consumers, which eat the producers. Then the secondary consumers that eat them, they only get 10% of the energy that these guys had. The tertiary consumers, the third level, who eat the secondary consumers, again, you only get a passage on of 10%. So at every level, you get far less energy available. You could have past the tertiary consumer, you could talk about quaternary consumers and pentenary consumers, but nobody does really go that far. Why? Because if you keep dividing by 10, you're running out of the amount of energy. So a lot of times, instead of calling it a quaternary consumer, they'll just talk about an apex consumer. And that's the person at the end of the chain who doesn't get eaten by levels above them. Now, that doesn't mean that that person or that thing will never die. Yes, they will but then decomposers come along and they just eat anything that's dead and not moving. So what would a food chain look like? Well, here's a food chain for uh, a terrestrial uh, environment. So you have some kind of plant, that's the producer. It's eaten by a grasshopper, primary consumer. Then our secondary consumer eats the grasshopper, the snake eats the little gerbil-y rat thing. So he's the tertiary consumer and here's our apex consumer eating the snake. We could call it a quaternary consumer if you come along and you eat the bald eagle. Naughty. Here we have, in the marine environment, we have the phytoplankton, eaten by the little shrimp thingy, which is then the primary consumer, which is eaten by the secondary consumer of the salmon, which is eaten by the tertiary consumer of a pike, let's call it that, or a barracuda. And then along comes the killer whale, nom, apex consumer. So these are just showing the flow of energy, but that's why we have so many more plants or producers than we have grasshoppers, and we have a ton more grasshoppers than we do have gerbil rat things. And we have a lot more gerbil rat things than we have snakes, and we have very few of the top uh, apex consumers because they need times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10 of these other organisms below them in the food chain.